Welcome back to Statistics on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of nonlinear regression analysis. Okay, now we covered linear regression analysis, both simple and multiple, and we found that using the Excel tool pack for data analysis is actually very easy. Um, you may not think you can do nonlinear, but there actually is a way that you can do it using Excel, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, pretty much all of the assumptions for nonlinear regression analysis are pretty much the same as for linear. Um, we have to have um, one dependent variable. We can have as many independent variables as we want, but both of them have to be continuous variables, generally speaking. Okay? we're still going to get the same output. I'm, I'm going to do a multiple analysis. Um, I'm not going to do simple in this video, but we're going to do a nonlinear multiple regression. So we're going to get a multiple R squared, an adjusted R squared, a p-value given as a significance f, and coefficients. Okay. So without boring you any further, I'm going to jump straight into the Excel file, and I'm going to show you how to perform this kind of analysis. All right, so now I'm at the Excel file and I'm going to show you how to do nonlinear regression analysis, particularly a multiple kind. All right, so just to show you what I've got here, um, I've got my dependent variable z. Okay, z is my dependent variable in this case. X and y are my two independent variables. Okay. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to mention that I use the Mac version of Excel, so the Windows version will differ ever so slightly, but it's really not significant. So just understand that. And also, um, if you have not yet downloaded the data analysis tool,